On the last episode of Living Ash, I made a huge announcement. And I got the keys. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. I told you guys that I finally moved into my dream apartment. And I took you guys along for the journey that was not easy. Packing and putting things away. Finally getting my beautiful couch, which I am so in love with. Setting it up, getting my bed. It was a journey, but overall, it's been amazing. I took you guys to Walmart with me because I needed some essentials because hello, new place, new start, needing some new things. And I woke up with you guys and went to sleep with y'all too. Good night, guys. I love you. On today's episode, it's already been one whole week since I moved into my apartment and my fridge was still looking real empty. So I took you guys with me to get some groceries and I was finally able to make my very first breakfast here at my new place and it came out so good. And I made some dinner too. You're not gonna believe that I actually tried to install my very first shower head. If I knew what I was doing, it would be another planet that I was on because I don't. Yeah. This week has been pretty eventful to say the least and you're gonna wanna stay tuned to see how everything played out. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Ash and this is my channel, Living. Ash. Woke up the morning, can't remember nothing. Two bitches just flowing from London. Two bitches, nothing I remember. They call them and daddy the match. I hope that you guys enjoyed my last video. It was like such a dream to even put that up and share this experience with you guys. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. You can check it out. It's my apartment journey and like just me being grateful for being here right now. So I'm currently in my kitchen and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I did my makeup, yes. Um, my fridge is super empty. I have some Gatorades and just like some few things. I just need to go pick up things at the store. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, just kind of like vlog the day and things like that. Um, you know just like take you guys with me like i'm on my camera now my camera's about to die so i'm gonna probably record on my phone i actually want to get a bar cart for this area here like behind this mirror or below it this is like a little bug plug thing so it catches all the little fruit flies and stuff but this is kind of what i want to do with this let me spread it out i have some pictures that still need to go up it's a whole thing and i have my camera on the tripod so in my pantry I'm gonna put you guys on to these drinks. This is not sponsored by the way, but I've been drinking these like Fair Life protein shakes. This one's strawberry banana fire. I'm gonna try the vanilla. They also have a strawberry one, but if you shop at Publix or Costco, they have them. And right now they're buy two, uh, get two for $5. So I'm obsessed with these protein shakes. I'm gonna take one with me, but I gotta go get some food. Like I'm really trying to get snatched for my birthday, which is next month on the 20th. And y'all, I've just been eating like crazy. I mean, I have no plates. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make a list, write down the things that I need. Uh, yeah, so, y'all, here it is. Do you see the lip combo? Hello? Gorge. You guys, since I left the house, I ended up in Burlington. I haven't been in Burlington in forever. So I kind of needed a nice, like, rug for my office. And I'm kind of going for, like, a more black, gold theme in there so this was cute and it's only what $39.99 way cheaper than like Marshall's um and then I needed like a rug like or a mat for the outside and I found this one and it says simply blessed um this is cute and my mom told me not to get anything that says welcome because you don't want to like welcome any negative things <laughs> um but I like this one it's very nice and I definitely feel blessed I'm looking for a cute cutting board for the kitchen, but not like this. Like I want the one with like that handle kind of thing, but I don't see that here. I don't really need any of these things. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of looking to see if I see anything that maybe I don't have yet. I have knives and forks and things like that. There's a mug set from tahari but i don't like that it's kind of open it's 14 dollars, but i have plenty of mugs right now so i'm pretty good on the mugs you guys have got to see like my full mug collection in the house like it's so cute but oh look at this spongebob one this is so cute you know i love me a good mug okay but i love the disney ones though for real like those are like my favorite oh i do kind of need a tool set um but i'm kind of like 
which one do I get? Y'all, I put up my shower head this morning, you guys saw. It was so cool. So yeah, I didn't show you guys yet. So this is me installing my first shower head. <laughs> I have a little bit of a task. Today I have a new shower head. And if you don't know, I am not handy, okay? I don't know how to put things up, but I feel like the directions are pretty simple. So I'm hoping this isn't hard. But, oh my gosh, I don't know what the heck. Because those little mini pieces, I'm scared. Oh lordy. Oh no. Easily adjust the height. Sand water filter. Tighten the wrench with, oh my gosh. Y'all, this is a process, but I think I'm getting it. I had to call my mama <laughs> and call her, and she she was trying to help me, but it's hard to tell on the FaceTime, but I think we got it, but if I knew what I was doing, it would be another planet that I was on, because I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just, it's a simple, like, six-step direction, but what the problem is for me is I don't have the experience. Like I've never done it. So I'm kind of learning as I go. And I feel like now that I've done it, I'll be a pro. I'm a pro now. Okay. But it's still not done. I'll let you know. Oh, All right, y'all, so I did it, you can see, but I don't know if the water is gonna work. <laughs> you guys, it's been a couple days and the the water works. The water works, so, um, oh, and you need proof? Let's turn it on. Okay, you see? But um, yeah, that's one thing I did was that. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? Cause I'm not, and I mean, Someone who's used to this is like, yo, this is like a basic thing. No, I never had to do that and I did it. And I'm telling you right now, if I can do it, you can do it too. If you're moving soon and you're worried about it, I don't know. <laughs> this is something you're just gonna have to try and take your time. But I've been showering real good in there. But yeah, back to Burlington. But this is this, 20 bucks for all this. These glasses look cute too. Ooh, this is really pretty. How much is these? I don't see the price. I don't feel like flipping this over right now. But there's these like infinity glasses. These are cute too. I just made it to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get my salmon and just pick up like a few things that I need. Um, I don't know where to put y'all. But yeah, I need to just get some stuff because I am so tired of eating out, but um, you know, it is what it is. Like I couldn't really cook, you know? I already have some flowers, so I don't need these, but they're so cute. They're playing mad music in here, y'all, so I probably can't really talk in here, but I'll show you guys what I pick up. Good morning, you guys. I think the last time you guys saw me, I was at Trader Joe's, and I don't know what I told y'all in the beginning, but I'm pretty sure I told you I was taking you shopping with me. So I went to Trader Joe's because I told y'all my fridge is very empty. And I'm gonna show you how it looks now. Like we're gonna do a whole bunch of organization stuff because the way I am, I'm very organized. Like I, I truly can't function if I'm not organized. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I ended up getting from Trader Joe's. Um, Here's a quick Trader Joe's haul. So I got some of this non-dairy oat creamer. Uh, it's brown sugar flavor. I don't know. I love brown sugar. So I'm like, let me try that. 
I ended up, um, this is actually limited edition. I got this from my parents' house because they had it in the fridge, but this is also a Trader Joe's buy. You can see it's called pepper jelly, and I put this on all of my sandwiches. Um, I Again, this is a seasonal product, but again, love that from Trader Joe's. And most of the stuff I got from Trader Joe's was like things that you can like get, and they're like dope. So I got this chili sesame oil. I get this, I don't know, maybe if I make some rice or... You never know when you're gonna need this, so I got that. I got some cotija. Cotija. <laughs> I forgot how to pronounce it. This cheese. I put this on like my corn, and if you guys didn't know, I have a severe corn allergy, which is something that I didn't know until recent. I really love corn. I actually stopped eating it as much when I was on my weight loss journey, and I'm really on that again now, so. We're about to transform in these next few months, okay? So I got this. I love to put this on my corn, but I haven't been having corn as much due to the allergy. And I got these. I got some chili onion crunch, okay? These are really good. I love this. It's so flavorful. And then when you can actually put this on your pasta, um, you're great with your favorite protein. So you, it's like subtly spicy and all that then i also got this minced garlic which is really really good too you know i do prefer my fresh garlic on my food but i always have that just because and another one of my favorite cheese this one is the creamy toscano cheese soaked in soraya Syrah. um but yeah it's another really really good one um yeah so i usually get this one it's a bit expensive 571 for some cheese but yeah and then i think i got this from trader joe's too i got some turkey bacon i was like i might as well get my turkey bacon because um yeah sometimes i like to have that for breakfast and i just needed to make sure that i had breakfast stuff you know so that's that and let me show you guys the freezer section okay because we definitely got some frozen stuff and some meats and stuff like that so I have, and I need to go get some stuff today. I need to get some like vinegar and stuff to clean my chicken and all that. But this is the um, skinless chicken breast. I got that from Trader Joe's. I got all this salmon. I love the barbecue cut salmon from Trader Joe's. That's really where I get my salmon, to be honest. And oh my gosh, it's so cold. So I really stocked up on the chicken. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I genuinely stocked up on the chicken. Got some more chicken breasts. Uh, I got some organic ground turkey. More chicken breasts and then some more chicken breasts down there. Oh, caught it. <laughs> oh, lastly, my shrimp. Y'all, check out the shrimp thing, okay? So we got this shrimp right here. It's from Target. The Colossal Raw Shrimp. I love this so much. It is amazing. And from Trader Joe's, we got these. This is the jumbo shrimp. I love jumbo shrimp. <laughs> I just do. And then I got this one too, which is another raw shrimp. Um, peeled and deveined. So. so for now, I think I'm pretty good on just that stuff. Like, I mean, as long as I have food, I need to go buy my seasonings. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. But I'm kind of just, again, taking you guys along with me for the journey. And I have some work to do in my office. I guess here's a little sneak peek of my office, y'all. So that's what it's looking like. Can't wait to show you guys that. So um, Home Goods. I went to Home Goods. I'm going to show you a few clips of me in Home Goods and me just shopping at Dollar Tree, too. And then um, I'll be back to show you guys what I got. Guys, I'm in Dollar Tree right now. I'm about to pick up like some little stuff, like some foil paper and you know, some like stuff, you know, like I need Ziploc bags and a whole bunch of stuff. So like there's the the glad snack size bags. Why it sound like it? <laughs> um, I need these hefty ones. Your girl's about to get it only comes with five? This is not a good value at all. This has 22, so that's pretty decent. Look at these. Um, hold on. They have some gain ones here. I'm gonna get these, because those were, ooh, what the heck? Those were snack size, so these are sandwich. So this comes with 22 sandwich bags. And then this one is for green means fresh. What is that? I don't even know, y'all. Let me see. 
This one is, how many come in here? Only 10. But honestly, this is good for now. I mean, until I go to another store, this is fine. I also need some parchment paper. So I'm gonna get some of that. I like to use this when I'm baking. So there we go, that's perfect. I'm gonna get some of these containers because when I'm baking, I like to use these for like parties and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna buy some of these because I feel like they're just perfect. Like especially when you're bringing things over to people's crib, you know, it's, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Like I hate not having them on hand. So I'll probably just get four of them for now. These are actually really cute for like parties. It has eight in here. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll definitely get that. I'm like looking for anything that's super cute. I'm really not trying to go overboard in here because sometimes even shopping at Dollar Tree, things can be a little bit more expensive. So I'm just getting like little stuff that I need for like right now. Um, not really food items though, but like just little, little stuff, you know? I'm gonna pick up some like guest toothbrushes. I think these are perfect like for guests if they come and they forget their toothbrush, like I'll just keep that in handy, you know what I mean? And then I feel like I need guest toothpaste, but I feel like these aren't worth it for like 125. I just picked these up for my office because I mean, hello, a hole puncher. I definitely feel like I need that. You guys, these are so cool and I'm trying not to get them all, but look at this. You can make a strawberry daiquiri, just add white rum. This is so cool and they have like these Moscow Mule glasses. Like I really am looking for a bar cart, but I can't find it. But these are just so cool and I feel like I need them all. Oh my gosh. By the way, I'm in Home Goods picking up just a little bit of things. I'll probably show you guys what I got during like my pantry organization thing, but I'm just picking up things that I need. So I was in Home Goods, they were closing, so I was kind of rushing, but I ended up getting some things. I'll probably show you guys those things later when I go back down to the car, because I have to like bring them inside. So I got this garbage can. What I realized, y'all, is trash cans for the kitchen are expensive. This was like $60, $70, and there were some for like over $130. Like, listen, I ain't going crazy like that, y'all. I'm not. I'm just like, it's a garbage, okay? And then I got... I got this wine rack, so I'm trying not to keep too much alcohol in my house, um, but I kind of want it to be like a nice vibe. So I'm gonna put this up on the um, like the kitchen counter and kind of see how I like it. And I'll show you guys. This was only $8.99, which I think was a great deal. Um, so we're gonna try it out and see how cute it is, and I'll let you know. There was a total wine next to the home goods, so I ended up getting a bunch of wine. When I tell you the lady in there in the total wine, she was like, um, you picked up some cheap wine, okay? And I mean, I like me some cheap wine. So she ended up changing like everything that was in my cart and I'll show you the ones that she got me. Um, so nothing I picked up, I ended up coming home with. She ended up just replacing everything. So lady, if you're watching this and I don't like any of these wines, I'm coming back for you, okay? So she recommended this wine. She said this is, I like sweet wine. So she recommended this right here. It's called Sugarbird, so we're gonna try that. Because I have like a sweet, I like Moscato, that's my favorite. She told me to try this Moscato out. I don't know y'all, we're gonna see. This one is from mm, Australia, somewhere. <laughs> um, then I got this right here is another one. I like the packaging. Um, this is Radius Red Blend. So I think the packaging is really nice. You can tell it's a little bit more expensive, you know, cause you gotta like do a little, you know, thing. This one, she replaced my Yellowtail Pink Moscato for this one. So this better taste better than the Pink Moscato from Yellowtail because that one's already hard to find. So she is saying all these are super good. So I'm just taking her, you know, I don't plan to drink these all by myself. So, you know, I want my people to like it. This one is another one. This is a strawberry Moscato from this dive bar brand, okay? And this last one right here is called Caramello, and it's a red. Hopefully this one is pretty good.
maybe having like a more elevated one but for now I'm just gonna keep this one I just feel like it was affordable and it's just a place to kind of like keep my wine and it'd be cute so <laughs> that's it it sounds like regular to me are you serious Ash, one of them is broken. Oh my. Are you serious? Yo, home goods. Excuse me. They tried. Me. That's why you have to check your glasses before you leave the store. Huh. That could have cut me. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Check your glasses before you leave the store. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Let me put it back. Girl, this is crazy. You guys, this is my first outing. I'm going to brunch for one of my sister's birthday. And I'm just like, okay, jeans from Pretty Little Thing and my little Zara heels. I'm excited because I'm going to brunch and then I will be coming back home to my place. So. We're just gonna see how the outing goes. And my door locked. <laughs> I have these Toy Birch flip flops that honestly were white and now they look yellowish cream. That's annoying, but I am just bringing them. I feel like you should always bring some flats in case because I remember going to Walmart the other day and I went to Walmart and I was walking in these right here. And it was kind of embarrassing because everyone's like dressed down, but this is the look. Let me see if I can do like a full body. I should have did full body in my room. Let me just do that real quick. Walking into my room. So here's the look like this, okay? Just something simple. It's just, oh my gosh, I need to fix my pants. Oh, I don't know if I like it rolled up or like down like that. Um, I'm gonna see how I like it rolled up on both. But that's so crazy. I'm glad I didn't walk out like that because what the heck? But yeah, we're going to brunch, y'all. Good morning, you guys. I am about to take out my braids in the front. Normally, when I do my hair, I don't do the entire thing over because I don't need to. I just usually just do the front and then within the next two weeks or so, I'll redo my entire braids. I actually want to keep the braids in because I'm hoping to start working out a lot more. Um, because my birthday is, when is my birthday? <laughs> a couple weeks next month. I don't know. I kind of want to do something else. But for now, I'm like braids because, you know, I just want to do braids because then it's easier to maintain, you know? So now I'm just going to work on the front. I'm going to watch a TV show. I'm, I don't want to like take out my braids on the couch because I just don't want hair all over my couch. Like, I love my couch. So I'm kind of just like sitting here in this chair so I can easily like sweep up the floor and stuff. So it'll be super easy. I counted how many braids I'm taking out. I'm only taking out, what, 19 braids. So it's really just the front. And you guys will see like once it's done, I have an appointment at 12 and it's currently, let me see, it's currently 8.44 a.m. So I have a lot of time and then I'm gonna wash my hair. And this is the back right now. So yeah. And I'm watching a new show. I'm gonna put you guys on right now because I don't know. I heard it's really, really good. So let me know if you guys have been watching it because I'm gonna watch it while I take out my hair. So that's exciting. <laughs> So the front is out. It didn't take long at all, actually. It's 9.05 now. <laughs> all right, guys. So my hair is washed, and I just kind of tied it up because I don't like having it out. But, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys the completed seasonings. Like, they're so dope. So this is my first time making breakfast in my place. Like, 
I have barely been eating, you guys, because I've been so busy. But today we're making breakfast. I have eggs. I'm going to make an omelet, so that's going to be nice. And then I'm going to have some turkey bacon. So that's it. I don't know. I just was like, let me document this because, like, hello, I'm making breakfast in my place. And breakfast is very, very important. I'm like, I still don't know where everything is. I'm like opening things like, what the heck? Like, where are my things at? We have an onion. We got some tomatoes. And I'm just going to do onion, tomato, cheese, cilantro, and, you know, the good stuff. I'm ready to make an omelet. It's just a one egg omelet. My appointment is at 12. It's currently 1025. So, yeah. I am starting to feel good, y'all, because I can go to my fridge and I have everything. So I have some mushrooms I think I'm going to put in there. I got some mozzarella cheese. I like protein. Like, I like heavy protein omelets. So I'm going to go ahead and put some smoked turkey in there. And here's my turkey bacon. That's a lot and we have an onion that I used last night because I made fresh guac. I'll show you guys when I put it on top of my omelet. Like, I was in here cutting up, making some food, okay? This this my place, okay? And we gonna make the food how I like it. <laughs> I'm playing with it. Woke up the morning, can't remember nothing. Two bitches just flowing from London. Two bitches. Nothing I remember, they call him and daddy. The mansion was covered in money. I went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on. Had to wake up and week out the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid. Alright, so my ingredients are chopped up. What is this, a cooking channel? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I got all my ingredients chopped and I'm going to actually add another egg because I was like, oh, I'm gonna just do one egg. But the way I'm feeling is I don't know if I'm gonna have lunch today because I'm gonna be out getting my hair braided and then I'm probably gonna stop at a few places. So we're gonna add another egg in here for extra protein and then I'm going to heat up the stove. One thing, piece of advice, if you're like a person that gets flustered and you just don't understand why your kitchen gets messy when you're cooking, clean as you go. I mean, I didn't used to do that and I'm telling you the place would be a disaster by the time I was finished. So if you can tell, I already put away the tomato, I wrapped up the onion, like as I go, when I'm finished with something, I put it back in the fridge, cilantro's back. So really all that's left is things that I haven't used yet. And then if you have something, wash it really quickly, like clean as you go. It'll be the best thing that you do because once you're done cooking and you wanna eat, you wanna relax and like settle in and you don't wanna worry about a huge disaster, you know? I grab my egg. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. I already did my seasonings. I seasoned with garlic powder. Um, I did garlic powder, a little onion powder. That's really it. I don't put too much stuff in here. I feel like I'm missing something that I really like in my eggs. Maybe a little pepper, but I didn't put that yet. One thing my mom always taught me to do <laughs> was to light a candle when you're cooking because you got the bacon in the back. So I don't know. It just makes the house not smell, especially living in like a smaller space. You don't want the place to smell like bacon and turkey all day and stuff like that. Like, no. So we're going to light You're the one from Bath and Body Works, which is like such an OG, pretty smelling candle. Like it's just gorgeous and I really like it now is it fitting my kitchen aesthetic not really but Valentine's Day is coming so I'm gonna put it right by my roses that'll be cute oh let me tell you guys about my guac so I made this really fresh guacamole because I had some avocados that you know like they just they're getting ready to be like not so good right so I was like let me just make a fresh guac and I did it last night and you can't even tell I did it last night that lime trick where you just squeeze a fresh lime put the lime juice on top y'all fresh guac and it's beautiful so I'm gonna put this on top or maybe on the side of my omelet I think I'm gonna do it on the side I know it might be weird to some of y'all, but I do it for extra protein. I put cottage cheese. I eat my breakfast with cottage cheese, and it's just been a game changer for me. 
but I mean to each his own. So here's the finished plate. We have an omelet with some fresh guac, some mozzarella cheese, turkey bacon, cottage cheese. Then you have some, you have turkey breasts, you have the tomatoes, the onion, cilantro. It's up, y'all. I'm excited. And it's very high protein, y'all. Very high protein breakfast. I would prefer to not eat in my couch, but I don't have my table yet, which is coming, I think, February 3rd. So just gonna be a little gentle and I'm gonna continue watching um, Married to Medicine. Sad because there's not a lot of kids on 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Y'all, best omelet. Oh, the food even tastes better in here. Happy wife, happy life. Exactly. When I tell you guys, it is such a beautiful day out here. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for life because it is just gorgeous. I am here in my office, I am editing, and I am kind of feeling tired. So, you guys didn't see my hair, the finished thing, okay? So, you can see the front looks, it looks like I got my braids completely done. Um, yeah, this is it, guys. So, last night I made dinner. You need to check it out. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy, but it was a first day for breakfast, first day for dinner. Like, yesterday was a great day. Seriously. Today is a day for first. I'm making my first dinner in here, too. And we got the salmon in the oven. Y'all, look at me. Dinner is served. So cute. Just something simple. Oh, nice. Little cow. So far, the first week here in my place has been, seriously, it's been great. Like, I feel it's been just a learning experience, and I've really learned so much within a week. It's a little over a week now since, obviously, I vlogged, you know, throughout the week, but it's just been amazing. And again, I'm very grateful to be where I am right now and to at least have you guys to share this with because I feel like I'd be very lonely if I didn't have the camera and you guys here watching and commenting and you know here to share the journey with me but that is it for today's video this episode was so fun I'm, I'm just having a ball you guys so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel become part of the family and I am going to the mall to go smell hopefully the new Killian fragrance that came out it's right here I'll put it here I can't wait to go smell it hopefully they have it and you'll see me shopping for that in the next video so make sure you subscribe turn on your post on notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys